In this video, I'm going to show you how to jumpstart eating the Mediterranean way every day with seven simple tips so that you can get started fast. Have you heard about the Mediterranean diet but don't know quite how to get started? Has your doctor suggested you begin eating this way? If you answered yes to either or both of these questions, this video is for you. And I think you're going to get a lot of value out of it. Once we've covered these seven tips, I'm going to share some more small, simple ways to amp up the flavor with some healthy treats. But for now, we're going to start simple. We don't have to memorize a lot of rules. We don't have to buy a lot of groceries. We just need to get on track and the rest will follow. If you've watched my first video in this series, then you'll have a pretty good idea of all the options. But hey, I get it. Sometimes too many options can be too overwhelming. So we're going to work with my favorite kitchen tool to get started. The dinner plate. Tip number one, divide and conquer. This might be the most important lesson in the whole video, but it'll be easy to remember because it's a pretty simple visual. You're going to want to fill half of the plate with a vegetable or fruit, one quarter of it with a protein, and one quarter of it with a fiber-rich grain or legume. Let's use a couple of examples from my own lunches and dinners so that you'll know what it might look like when you're eating the Mediterranean way every day. Take this lunch idea for a great salad bowl. You can use any mix of fruits and veggies, the more the merrier. Chopped tomato, chopped cucumber, leafy greens, an onion, hard-boiled egg, and some chickpeas for protein, and whole grain rice for a grain. Plus a sprinkle of mixed nuts and seeds, and a healthy vinaigrette like olive oil, mustard, and lemon. And there are about 593,774 other ways to build healthy salads that you can find in my salad system video that I'll link below, and you can get the free PDF that goes with it. Tip number two, out of sight, out of mind. Take a quick review of what's in your pantry and clear out stuff that isn't best for your new way of eating to make space for things that are. There's probably a nearby food bank that would appreciate getting a helping hand with those things. And you won't be tempted to fall back into old habits. If it's out of sight, it'll be easier to be out of mind too. Tip number three, size matters. If you're looking to get healthy, any size plate will do. But if you want to lose some weight in the process, then here's an incredibly simple trick to help you manage portion control. Use a smaller plate. Your eyes will be tricked into thinking it's a lot more food, and your tummy won't know the difference, especially if you slow it down while you're eating. Tip number four, good old go-tos. Find a few simple and fast go-to recipes that you know you're going to look forward to and master them. They don't have to be complicated or require a lot of ingredients. I came up with a twofer the other day when I air fried small potatoes and halfway through added a piece of salmon. In the same amount of time and energy, I had two parts of the plate covered with half the cleanup. If you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a big difference. Tip number five, start every day off right. When you're off to a healthy start with breakfast, you're more likely to stay on course all day long. A simple bowl of yogurt boosted with some fruit, a smoothie with some hidden veggies, a two minute packed omelet. I put together a breakfast playlist for simple healthy ways to start the day to give you some more ideas. And I'll list a few other healthy eating channels in the description below that I enjoy watching too. Tip number six, think ahead. I know this one is going to be the toughest to get going on, but I promise it'll make such a difference to help you stay on track by removing another obstacle to healthy eating every day. Set aside two hours a week, just two hours, and pre-make a few core ingredients, like a big batch of whole grain quinoa or rice, a sheet pan full of roasted veggies, a roasted chicken, even store-bought, can be cut up or shredded into a pile of healthy protein that you can use for lots of meals. If some things are already in the fridge to work with, all you have to do is pull them out and put them together in that one bowl meal or pile them onto a salad plate and you're ready to stay on track. And by the way, if you think a meal prep video would be helpful, let me know in the comments below. 
and I promise I'll get right on it. Because some of my very best video ideas have come from all of you. Number seven, I used to steam and boil my veggies, but now I'm much more likely to air fry or stir fry them because these two simple ways of cooking veggies are just so darn flavorful. A light spray of olive oil, a healthy mix of different herbs and spices, and a few minutes of cooking time results in much tastier versions of the same healthy ingredients. And if it tastes good, you know you're going to want to eat more of it. Earlier in this video, I said I was going to share some small, simple ways to amp up the nutrient value and flavor in any dish. And here are three of my favorites. Store-bought crispy onions. Did you notice I added these little gems to my spinach salad in the first example in this video? They answer one of my personal requirements for any good salad, crunch. Plus a sprinkling of a tablespoon or so to any veggie dish is a real treat, not to mention a key topping on a baked potato. Another low cost addition to the pantry and great way to add protein and nutrients to any meal is a simple top off of a nut and seed mix. I use a small amount, like a tablespoon, to finish veggies, salads, even my morning yogurt. Make just one or two homemade dressings that can last all week. If you love the dressing, you're going to want to eat more salads, right? My latest favorite is a Mediterranean-style date, orange, and anchovy dressing that is a perfect flavor bomb, and there's a link to it in the description. But while it's great on salads, you can also use it to marinate chicken or fish, or even use it to glaze partway through the air frying process. While these tips will get you started, I made a special playlist for you that's a step-by-step -step way to master this diet. So click on it now if you want to continue your new healthy journey on the Mediterranean way every day. And tap the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single new how-to video.